Hey guys, so it is Saturday morning and we have a lineup of events today. Um, at I'm on my way to church. The ladies are having uh, a pampering, a day of pampering. So that's from 12 to 3. There's going to be food, line dancing, and speakers. And then at um, 5 to 8 at our church, the marriage ministry is having a cookout. So we're, it was rescheduled from another date. So it just, I guess this is when it was the church was available. So that's from 5 to 8. So I, I got to go home anyway. So I'm glad it fell like that. I got to go home and get the, the things, that like the dessert and the drinks that I'm taking. Go home and get that. And then after that, or overlapping that, is a jazz event that we've been um, invited to from, okay, the marriage ministry is from five to eight the jazz event that we're is at someone's home that we know we've been invited and it's from six to eight thirty so i think we're going to stay at the church for the marriage event from five to seven and then go to the jazz event from seven or seven fifteen to 8.30, which I'm hoping it, you know, sometimes this stuff spills over a little, lingers a little, so I'm hoping it lasts until 9. I hate to miss most of, you know, everything. So, anyway, I'm arriving at church now, and if I can bring y'all along, I'm going to try to be a good vlogger today. But, and they said to be comfortable, so y'all, I got on my dress, but it's a comfy dress, so. But anyway, I am excited. And uh, by everybody going in, y'all think I'm overdressed. <laughs> mm, so we'll see. Hey guys, so we just came from church. We had the marriage ministry outing there. That was so much fun. And uh, we're going to a jazz outing now. So take y'all along a little bit with us. Hi, good, how are you doing?
just got back from Kroger's uh, from one of my first shopping trips as an empty nester. So this was not a small trip. It was not a large trip. It was kind of medium size. Um, well, no, it was small to medium. I only paid $35 and some odd change. So let me show you what I got. I got some grape juice. I got two sweet potatoes, one red onion. I said, let me just take everything on out so I wouldn't be rattling the bags on camera. But I got salmon and um, enough for two days, probably three for me and him. So I do know I want it on Sunday. So I got some for today and then some for Sunday, I'll just put it in the freezer, either in the back of the refrigerator and it'll keep it super, super cold, almost frozen, it's like in between. Uh, got some oranges, two oranges, two grapefruits and some cilantro, avocado and a lemon some bananas. I wanted to get the nine grain bread, but they didn't have it. So that's my little haul for today from Kroger's. Hey, you guys. So it is Wednesday and we're having salmon, green beans with onions and mushrooms and sweet potatoes and grape juice. And y'all, I set out three plates today. Yep, I pulled out three plates. Think about Isaiah. <laughs> but this is our dinner today, and I'm about to chow down. It is day two of Empty Destin. <laughs> well, rather, while well, I was cooking anyway. Um, I have squash, zucchini, mushrooms, and onion, and cornbread, and wings that were made in the air fryer. And we have some grape juice. And that's mine. Ready? <laughs> yes, I am. So it's a little bit after dinner and we picked these greens yesterday. These greens and 
tomatoes and we got one pepper there. So, so I'm just rinsing these off before I put them in the vinegar water. And then I will rewash them again. Re-rinse, re-wash them again, and then and then cut the stems and cut the greens and bag them. Got a good little harvest off here. It is raining and I don't know if y'all can see that it's dripping off the tent. But I just put algae side in the pool because we had a little algae growing. And if you could see that on our house right there. So we have to power wash the house. But of course it kind of, it gets in the air and it gets everywhere. So of course it gets in the pool. And uh, it was just a little bit in the bottom. So I just put algae side in it. And tomorrow I'll put the chlorine tablets back in. Put the floater back in. So I'm just gonna sit right over here. Let's see if I can give y'all a picture without me getting into the rain. So the tent is not right up on the house. It may be about a foot away from the house. So water gets over there. That's the pool cover over there. But here's a table and I'm gonna get my recliner. And I got my MacBook over there and my sweater. A little chilly but it feels real good and that's mister's chair over there we just harvested the garden yesterday and got a lot of tomatoes and greens off there which you saw but i'm about to sit down now and relax while the greens are soaking and y'all it's a little windy too but i love it i love this back here nice a little breezy windy just a little chill in the air. I'm going to do some editing. I'm going to enjoy it because it's going to be in the 90s in a couple of days. And I just love, 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 love the feeling of being back here and just in privacy and just being in a serene spot. This is just, oh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about to get to editing. And this is what they look now in the water on um, both sides. Of course, I've already cleaned them before I started and just submerge them down in the water. I put vinegar in and salt. This was covering. I guess they kind of floated up a little bit. I rinse them before I put them in the water. So this should get any excess off and you want to shoot them around. Shoot them around. And I already did them. Just showing you again because they've been sitting for over an hour at this point. So I'm going to rinse these again. I'm going to put them in a colander and let them sit. It is 8.45 at night in the evening and i have to do my nails I have a doctor's appointment in the morning i got other things to do and i just cannot do this right now i got to iron my clothes and get my little to-do list together for tomorrow and i will put these in a colander let them drain and then when i get back from the doctor and running my errands i'll do something with these greens change of plans i'm going to wash the tomatoes off put them on here that's just water and then I'm going to rinse these once again and put them in this big pan because this will hold them hey guys so I almost forgot my husband reminded me I video this for y'all we have so many tomatoes and we are making salsa right now we're gonna make salsa we're gonna make spaghetti sauce and what else did we say we're gonna make is it something else it's eating them plain. It's eating them plain. They're oh, good they're and soft. juicy. They're the beef steaks and the Better Boy, mm -hmm. I believe they are. And then there's um, Big Boy Hybrid or something or another. We have four tomato plants. 
So we're gonna show y'all a little bit of the process. I'm looking all studious and smart with my glasses on. Mm -hmm. So here is the tomato salsa. It came out really nice. Uh, it needs to sit for about an hour or so for the flavors to meld together. So we're gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight and see what we come up with. So we have tomato, cilantro, garlic, red onion, salt, garlic powder, and cilantro. And lime, a full lime. Good morning, guys. I am, well, I just left the doctor and um, got my yearly physical. All seem to, you know, have gone well. I uh, got my blood work done. So she said everything looks good. Blood pressure is good. All what she could see was good. So then, of course, I wait on the blood test. But um, prayerfully, all is well and uh, all is good. So I am headed to Walmart and I'm gonna make some returns, some things that Isaiah did not need uh, for his dorm. And uh, let's see what else. I'm gonna go to, oh my goodness. I'm gonna go to Target Monday. Monday I get my mammogram done and I forgot my receipts for Target. So, I'll just go to Target on Monday. And uh, I really need to get home and do some editing today. So I'm gonna go to Walmart. I need to go to the Dollar Tree. I need to go to the P.O. Box, not uh, the post office. I need to go to the post office and let's see what else. Got my little list here. Got a couple calls to make, a couple texts to make. And I guess that's it. That's it. So I will catch up with y'all later. So it is the next day and here is the salsa. I made a really chunky salsa last night. It looks really good. It smells good. And I'm going to taste it for you or me and my husband's going to eat some. So let me dip, dip some out. Let me go in and dip some out. Oh, it smells good. It gets more pungent, more flavorful. Um, the longer it sits. I'm gonna try some. With an upgraded pan in the newly renovated barn and a fenced in outdoor run high above the property's floodplain, they'll be safe to roam free mm -mm. without fear of being washed away. It's safe now. I'll taste you. Good. Leftovers again?